Hi guys, it's Bella here. Welcome to another speed build. Today we are doing a challenge house. Uh, it's for Curb Appeal Challenge 5. It's hosted in Twitter. I will link them down below. And this time the theme was to build a hut for an explorer or something like that. So you could do it in the jungle or in a forest. And I hadn't been to Selva Dorada in a very long time, so I decided to build there and I love that world. It's seriously such an amazing world. I need to go there more often. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so today we are building this very small and very, it's mostly outdoors um, hut. So only the like bedroom is in this little cabin that is raised up here. And then the rest of the things are outside. So it's definitely it takes some dedication to live here or even to go on vacation here. So if you really want to be in the jungle and really want to feel that lifestyle, I don't know, <laughs> and explore the jungle, this is a great place for you. So the requirements for this challenge were uh, the lot size is 20 by 15 and I'm glad that we had one in Selva Dorada because I really wanted to go there. Uh, then it needed to have an outdoor toilet and shower or while I do a bath. I hope that's okay. So that's what we are doing here. And then it was supposed to have a fire pit, but I don't own um, outdoor retreat. So I went around that by using... Uh, this jungle adventure fireplace, uh, not fireplace, well there's also a fireplace but also this like barbecue and stuff like that so you can still make food. I know it's not exactly what was supposed to be but that's what I did and yeah also because I didn't have outdoor retreat I went around some things like making them a little bit different so I'm mainly using all of the jungle adventure stuff and making it a perfect place for an explorer or an archaeologist. Um, it's only for one person though, so um, yeah, it would be a lone archaeologist or something like that. And we are using a lot of plants and a lot of, like I said, jungle adventure things, these colorful tiles all over. And yeah, so yesterday, uh, after my latest video, I went and watched the Maxis Magni live stream, and they announced first person view to come in the update uh, in the upcoming patch that also comes with terrain tools and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's really cool. I love that how they showed it off with like toddlers and pets, especially. It was adorable, and I'm definitely going to be playing with that. I'm quite sure I will be playing with toddlers even more and with pets. I will just live my life as a cat from now on. Confirmed. <laughs> I think it's such a nice feature and I think it's seriously very very cool. I feel like they were really worried about the reaction so they kind of downplayed it um, but I don't know why some people are still mad about it or don't like it. It's okay if you don't like it. But I think it's such a cool feature that allows so many more opportunities for players of all kinds. Like you can be a builder and, and take advantage of that or you can be a storyteller. It's kind of for everyone because like they said, it's quite obvious that it's going to be useful for machinimas and stuff like that but also they mentioned like room tours or house tours and I think that's going to be so cool like every time I'm doing a house tour I'm kind of like weirded out by the fact that I'm actually no one and if I go in front of a mirror there's nothing there and stuff like that so I think it's very very cool to be able to walk around the house as your sim. I have so many ideas already about how you could use that. Um, as I was editing this video, obviously we were in Salvadorada, I was imagining 
how cool it would be to explore the jungle and the temple in first person and also like you could do spaces that only pets can access or something like that i've done it in a couple of houses because i think it's an adorable idea but now you can actually see what the pets see so i think i'm gonna do like some kind of a i don't know pet daycare or something adorable when that feature comes out and then i then I will tour it. Um, yeah, I just want to live as a cat, that's all. <laughs> but going back to this build for a while, these wallpapers kept um, changing back to the preset So um, in the toilet area. So I had to fix that quite a few times because it was all the same room. And here I just add a fireplace. And here is the little hut. It only has like... A single bed and a bookshelf and a table um, and a TV, a small TV just to get your fun up more quickly but I imagine that if you were to take a vacation here it would be more of a exploration. You might be like a professor or archaeologist that explores the jungle so you wouldn't really come here to leisure, you would come here to work and I'm trying to make this space look like it's meant for someone who really likes to explore the jungle. I used the... is it like a spy map? Anyway, I thought that it kind of looked like Salvadorada in a map or something. You could imagine that's the whole area and like those spots mean something that maybe they have found or they have explored. And I, I really like this interior. It's very, very small, but it's it's pretty cool. And I use, um, yeah, like I said, a lot of jungle adventure stuff, but also those Caribbean update things a lot in this build. They just go together so well. And inside I use some of those cracks and wall decors from vampires just to give it a bit more run down look. And I think it still seems very cozy and like, like a nice place to be in. I don't think it would be filled with like spiders or anything like that. Even though probably realistically there would be spiders there. Um, I wouldn't necessarily want to go on a vacation in this spot. Um, especially if you have to eat outside and shower outside. Um, I don't think it would be the most pleasant thing. But you know, it it's very specifically um, tailored for someone who really wants to explore the outdoors. And here I also put a sink in. I realized I didn't have any, any sinks in there. So I put that outside of the toilet there. And here is the kitchen area. Basically, it's just the barbecue with this picnic table. And I put some like ruins pieces around just a couple and then Mostly I just closed a lot off with a lot of plants that you can see me place here. This uh, landscaping part is taking quite a while. Even though it's a small lot, it's mostly covered in plants. And again, I mainly use the jungle adventure ones because they just fit in the world the best, obviously. And I also, this is completely CC free, so only Max's stuff is used even though you might see those little um, custom content icons in my uh, catalog. Um, I have some like replacements, CC replacements of Max's stuff, but I didn't use those either. Um, I'm not sure yet how those actually work, um, if they show that the lot is modded or not, because I have a couple of doors, for example that have replaced the cats and dogs doors or windows so I'm not sure how that works but again it's not really relevant to this build um yeah tell me would you would you want to spend a night in this place um I bet like for one or two days it would be fine but after that I would just want to go back to civilization and like doing my food indoors and stuff like that but it's a very beautiful space and while I was taking the screenshots um, it was 
like a heat wave and then the sun started setting so the screenshots are like this very nice red toned or orange toned style and they're very pretty and this lot is very pretty i'm quite happy with it um yeah it's not something i build too often because I think if you only build in Salvadorada it gets very repetitive very easily but it's been a while since I was here so so I was really enjoying it and I do put down this bird feeder and also of course the archaeology table it was it was not even a requirement but I just felt it was a given for this place and then I just put a little seating here under the hut uh, where you can look over this small pond and here I was trying for the longest time to find the um, thing from Jungle Adventure the kind of a... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> I will pull it out soon but I was really confused in what category it was in and I thought that it was very stupid that it wasn't in the outdoor um, decorations and then I just do this little pathway and most of the rest of the video is me terrain painting um, it's not that interesting I might cut some out here I find the thing <laughs> finally that I was talking about and I still don't know what to call that I think it's called the tree arbor I have never used that word in my life before um, yeah, and I use a lot of these drapery thingies um, in this orange color just to give the whole place a little bit more detail and like maybe those would kind of keep some some animals away, I don't know, like would it actually do anything, but that's what I was thinking. And here is the archaeology table and some some tools to go with it. And we are pretty much done with this build. Um, the results for the challenge aren't in just yet, but I think they will be very soon. And, um, I will anyway link the Twitter page of Curb Appeal Challenge down below and you can check them out. They host very nice build challenges that I would recommend you check out. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. There's still the screenshots coming. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all very, very soon again. Bye-bye!